Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Anna. I hope you enjoy today's story. When I saw today's story, I thought back to when I was a little girl. I was always the tallest in my class, in my school, with all in between all my friends, and I always almost looked down at everybody because I was so tall and I started feeling big like like a giant and you know what I did I started walking like this I folded my shoulders in and then one day my granddad came to pick me up from school and he saw me walking with all my shorter friends and as I got into the car, he looked at me and he said, Anna, you're walking like a question mark. I felt so silly because I knew why I was doing it. I wanted to be like all the others. I didn't, I didn't feel proud of how tall I was. And today's story is something similar but the opposite. Do you know what the opposite of tall is and big? Yes, short and small or little. Let's see if you enjoy this story. And maybe you felt like this before. Our story is called, I don't want to be small. The author is also the illustrator, and it's Laura Ellen Anderson. Let's enjoy it together. No! It's not fair! I don't want to be small. I want to grow faster so I can be tall. I'm always on tiptoes. In crowds, I can't see. And all of my friends are much taller than me. It appears I'm so small, they forget that I'm there. And I eat, can't even go on big rides at the fair. He's got to go in the little teacup where the mum is with all the babies. Because he's not tall enough to go on there. My brother is lucky for being so tall. He gives me his clothes when he finds them too small. But his clothes are too big. It's just so unfair. I'm so mad, I throw teddy bear up in the air. Oops! Look where Teddy landed. Now he's stuck. Oh, what have I done? Being this small ruins all of my fun. I try jumping to reach him. I stand on a box. I try stilts and a long stick. A rope made of socks. He's too small, he can't reach. Perhaps if I eat all my greens really fast, I'll grow super quick and save Teddy at last. But no, I'm just full with strange sounds in my belly. I'm still the same height, but now 
so much more smelly. <laughs> Maybe I'll grow if I'm more like a flower. So I sit in the sunshine and have the odd shower. But now I'm just wet and there's mud in my hair. I just want my bear. Oh, he's not happy, is he? Shame. I think he's also frustrated. He wants to be so many things and he wants to have so many things. Nice bear, says a girl who's much taller than me. Would you like me to help get to help get it down from that tree? The girl reaches up, but it's still far too high. Oh dear, what a pickle, I slump down and sigh. But just when I think that my bear's stuck forever, I gasp and say we could reach Ted together. So he's got a plan and they're going to do it together. The next thing I know, I'm the tallest around. I've never been so far away from the ground. <laughs> He's sitting on her shoulders. Very good. We laugh and we wobble and then one, two, three. Together we finally set my bear free. Thank you, I say, and I hold out my bear. Here, this is Teddy. Perhaps we can share. So, yes, I am small, but now I don't mind. I've made a new friend, and she's mightily kind. We play games and laugh for the rest of the day. I'm small, and she's tall. And we're perfect that way. The end. I wish I had read this story when I was younger, when I walked like a question mark. And I've got to remind myself, and maybe you too, be happy with who you are. Be happy with how you look. Wear it with confidence. Be proud. You were made that way for a reason. And it's very, very special. Just like you. Have a lovely week. Stay safe. And I'll see you next week. Bye.